नमस्ते माय डियर फ्रेंड्स इन इंडिया देर आर मेनी फेस्टिवल्स एंड देर आर मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ फास्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फास्ट और वर्त इज एकादशी व्रत लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड एंड नो इट्स फिजिकल एंड स्पिरिचुअल सिग्निफिकेंस एकादशी इज ए संस्कृत वर्ड व्हिच मींस द इलेवेंथ इट रेफर्स टू द इलेवेंथ डे ऑफ ए फोर्थ नाइट इन ए लूनर मंथ there are two fortnights in a lunar month the bright and the dark so ekadashi occurs twice in a month in the bright fortnight and dark fortnight the special feature of ekadashi as most people know it is a fast abstinence from diet this is how it is usually understood we do not eat on ekadashi is what people understand in this country india it has become a routine to be abstemious if not to observe a complete fast on this day the significance of this particular observance is not merely constituted of a fast physically though it is also an essential element it has other deeper aspects in fact the fast is only a practical expression and a symbol of something else that we are expected to do which is of special significance to our personality those who know astronomy as something which tells about the interrelation of the planetary system the stellar world would be aware that we form a part of this planetary or solar system by a system we mean an organism or organization which is methodically arranged when we know that we belong to the system of planetary motions we understand thereby that we are an inseparable part of the system we are not unrelated bodies on the surface of the earth like a cart on the road which has no organic link we belong to the solar system a huge family of which the sun is the head and the planets are the members the sun guides the activities of this family and we being contents of this system cannot be out of the influence of the sun we are involved in the laws operating in this system this has led to the discovery of astrology astronomy studies the movements of planets and stars and astrology the effect they produce on the contents of the system the ekadashi observance is an astrological phenomenon and it is observed due to this relation we have with some of the planets in the system the entire personality of our this tremendously influenced by the 
movement of planets there is no use imagining that the planets are above our heads they are everywhere there is a relative movement of planets among which the earth is one the movement of one thing in relation to another is a relative movement there is no planet which is static even the sun is not ultimately static the whole solar system is moving and rushing towards some huge star which is 80 million times larger and brighter than the sun and whose light has not yet reached us as astronomers tell us we have to understand that there is relative motion among us planets and we are relatively influenced by the planets each planet tells upon our system and we cannot get rid of their influence as long as we are on this planet of which we are a part the gravitational pull of planets has an influence on us the sun is the sun is said to influence the center of our personality and the sun is called atma karka he is the sole influencer of the human body in the rig veda the sun is identified with the soul of the universe as well as the soul of the individual the different limbs of our body and different parts of our system are supposed to be influenced by different planets the sun is capable of influencing the entire being he is thus the atam kara karka is doer manipulator director if there is no sun we know what difference it makes for us our digestion becomes sluggish on days when there is no sun so important is the sun the moon is supposed to influence the mind the mind is also made up of material substance the mind is not spiritual but material how is mind matter this can be known if we know how in homeopathy the medicine is manufactured in allopathy they give the crude base of a medicine which homeopathy calls mother tincture in homeopathy one drop of mother tincture is mixed with a 100 drops of rectified spirit and shaken with a tremendous force that mixture is one potency of medicine one drop of that is mixed in 100 drops of spirit again it becomes two potency medicine likewise they have larger potencies you can imagine what happens to the medicine when it reaches the higher potency there is no medicine at all so homeopathy says that they give no medicine but a vibration a vibration of the original base material it is subtle automatic aromatic vibration aromatic in the sense of the subtle residuum of the original medicine and what will create a circumstance in allopathy will remove that very circumstance in homeopathy nevertheless this potency is material in the sense that it is formed of matter so is the mind it is the subtle portion of the material substance of our food the subtle essence of the food not only directly taken through the month but through all senses taken through the mouth 
but through all senses contributes to the make up of the mind or the mind stuff mind is material in a subtle sense like a mirror which is made of earth material only though it shines only the mirror is able to reflect light and not the brick though it is also made of the earth material mind is material in this sense it is very very subtle and it is made up of everything that we take so matter influences matter planets are not spiritual bodies and yet they influence the mind the mind's presiding deity is the deity, deity is the moon ekadashi is particularly relevant to this relation of moon and mind you will find that when you go deep into the study of astronomy you have nothing in your body except some planetary influences we are made up of planetary forces and there is nothing independent to call our own one part belongs to one planet and another part to another planet if each planet claims its part you will disintegrate the moon influences the mind in its orbital relative moment with reference to other planets and us how is ekadashi related to the movement of moon and mind we have certain centers called chakras in the body the chakras are nothing but energy centers which whirl in some direction as water whirl in a river chakra is a wheel or circular motion they form in a spiral shape they are not physical but are psycho physical and psychological the chakras are neither in the mind nor in the body they are in the astral body the moon's influence physically on the body has an influence on the chakras which tells upon the mind ultimately the mind moves through these chakras the passage of the mind is through these chakras up and down when this operation takes place consciously it is called yoga when done unconsciously by the mind it is just influence when the moon waxes or wanes the mind is vehemently influenced so people who are not normal in their minds become very disturbed on the full moon and new moon days you cannot see the moon's influence on the earth because it is solid but it can be seen on the ocean which is liquid the moon influences the whole earth and its influence is visible on the large body of water in the sea this happens due to the two fold pressure of the relation of the earth and moon the sun influences the moon and moon influences the earth when this influence occur occurs automatically we are instruments in the hands of nature when it is done consciously we are said to practice yoga we can be in voluntarily dragged from place to place or we can walk voluntarily the difference is obvious the moon's movement tells us upon the movement of the mind through the chakras another important aspect is the seat of the mind which is also two fold you may be living in many houses of which one or two are your own swasthana means one one's own place the mind has several abodes or centers of energy called chakras of which two are its own the seats of the mind in this personality of ours are one the subtle spot in the astral body corresponding to the center of the two eyebrows in waking and to the heart in the state of deep sleep it is in the brain it is active and you then do not get sleep because it refuses to go down 
if the mind is midway between the center of the eyebrows and the heart it is the dream state so there is a two fold centers of the mind the ajna chakra or the center between the eyebrows and the anhata chakra or the heart in both these centers the mind feels at home and it is at ease because it is nearer to itself in other centers it is extravert in the ajna and anahata chakras it finds itself at home in the two foot nights in its moment it finds itself at the chakras and the anahata chakra on the 11th day since these two chakras are in its own abode the mind is at home here that is it gets concentrated and collected easily this has been the experience described by our ancients and this has to be taken advantage of by sadhakas you are capable of concentration when the mind is naturally in its home the mind cannot be concentrated when it is out of tune but when it is in its location it is easy of contemplation so the ekadashi day in both fort nights is the occasion when the mind find itself in its place in the bright fort night in the ajna chakra and in dark fort night in the anahata chakra seekers and yogis take advantage of these two days and try to practice deep meditation vaishnavas treat ekadashi as a very holy day and also observe a fast on that day fast and meditation what connection have they there is really no intrinsic connection between fast and meditation but there is some advantage in keeping the body light and the stomach free from excessive metabolic function when the stomach is given the duty of digestion doctors will tell you that blood circulation is accelerated towards the digestive organs on account of which blood circulation to the head gets decreased after food is taken and so you feel sleepy and the thinking faculty practically ceases to function hence there is no advantage in giving the physical system work on days you want to do yogic practice thus ekadashi has also a spiritual significance the energy of the whole system gets distributed equally if a particular limb is not given any inordinate work if any part is given heavy work there is a dislocation of the working of the body so in fasting the energy is equally distributed as the digestive function is not there but there should be no overloading in fast fast is supposed to cause buoyancy of feeling and not fatigue so people who are sick and cannot observe a total fast take milk and fruits etc people who are perfectly healthy and are confident observe a complete fast this helps in control of mind and will apart from this there is a necessity to give the physiological system some rest once in a while it may be overworked due to little over eating or indiscrimination in diet these irregularities unconsciously done during the 14 days get rectified in one day thus the observance of ekadashi has many advantages physical astral and spiritual and because this day has connection with the relation of the mind with its abode together with moon you feel mysteriously helped in your meditation and contemplation mysteriously because you cannot know this consciously 
but you can feel this for yourself by observing it. In India, everything is interpreted spiritually. Every river is a deity. Every mountain is a god. Everything is holy, dedicated to the divine. Everything is presided over by a particular god. Gram Devta, Grah Devta, etc. Everywhere is God. The idea behind all this is that we have to feel the presence of God in everything and everywhere, in space and in time, in everything. There is God. Time is God. Directions are God. Thus, the very objects become embodiments of God. This is India's religious side light which is profoundly meaningful in life. Historical significance of Ekadasi worth. Since time immemorial in Vedic culture, yogic and yogis and sages had been giving the importance for diverting sense actions from materialism to divinity. Ekadasi fasting is one of that spiritual practice. As per Hindu scripture, there are two words in Ekadasi. Eka one, the dasha, transforming actions of ten senses and mind from worldly objects to God is the true Ekadasi. Ekadasi means we should control our ten senses and one mind. One must not let vicious thoughts regarding lust, anger, avarice, etc. enter in mind. Ekadasi is penance that should be done only to realize and please God. The historical, the history of Ekadasi. In Satyuga there lived a demon called Mardanav. He, he terrorized all good people and devotees on the earth as well as he scared all the devtas also. So they was left heaven and took refuge to Lord Vishnu. They prayed Lord Vishnu to protect them. God's mercy towards his devotees is limitless. So he took off immediately on his fastest vehicle Garuda. He fought continuously from 1000 years with Mardana of unbelievable strength and still he was fighting with full energy and power. So Lord Vishnu decided to change his strategy. Lord Vishnu acted as if he was exhausted by the battle and hid in a cave in Himalayas. He decided to take a nap in this huge cave. Lord Vishnu along with all his ten senses and the mind inside was taking a rest. Mardano reached to the cave by chasing Lord Vishnu. He saw him sleeping inside the cave and followed him. He took his sword to kill Lord Vishnu. As he was about to swing the sword, suddenly an extremely beautiful and luminous lady playing with a sword emerged from Lord Vishnu's body. Mardana loved to her beauty and asked her to marry him. She said, I would marry who can defeat me in battle. Mardana agreed to her proposal. He started fighting with that divine lady. Eventually, during the fight, the divine lady defeated and slayed Mardana. Hearing the noise of fight, Lord Vishnu woke up and saw that lady who killed Mardana. Lord Vishnu called that lady who emerged from himself by the name Ekadasi. That was the eleventh day of the waxing moon. Lord Vishnu pleased by her deed and said to ask a boon. The Ekadasi asked to Lord Vishnu that as I evolved from your Ekadas Indriyas, eleven senses of the body, I shall be known as Ekadasi. I am filled with penance, so I desire that people should observe Ekadasi worth and control their Ekadas Indriyas senses on this day. On the day of my worth, no one should consume grains such as rice, wheat, beans, etc. Lord Vishnu agreed and 
ever since all Hindus perform Ekadasi worth by fasting or eating Falahari foods on the eleventh day of bright half of the moon and dark half of the moon. Also, Lord Vishnu said that devotees who observe the Ekadasi day with fasting and prayers would have his choicest blessing. This story is based on Padma Purana, a Hindu scripture. Meaning behind the story, if we disconnect the senses and mind from the materialistic world, spiritual power is being generated. The more we enjoy the sense objects, the more stupid, wicked and powerless we become. It is not that we are releasing the sense objects. In fact, sense objects are releasing us and hence, and once it sucks us completely, it just thrown, throws us away. Rishis and Munis like Vasishta Muni, Vishwamitra, Vishwamitra Muni were all householders, yet they were in complete control of themselves. They direct all the senses and mind towards God. Being in a household, they controlled senses and mind. When they controlled senses and mind, power gets created for them that in turn makes them stronger towards God. Why other Upwas fastings do not consider equal to Ekadasi? The Vedic cosmology is deeper than other cosmologies. As per this, there is some period of time pious and some are not. It depends upon position of stars and zodiacs. Ekadasi day has positive effects on our body and brain. Therefore, fasting done on Ekadasi is more effective than day of regular Ekadasi fasting. Upwas is Agna. Kama, ag Agna, command of God. So, it is best option for devotee. Ekadasi fasting is considered equal to bath done crores of times in holy river Ganga. Ekadasi fasting is considered equal to cow's donation done crores of time. Because purpose of cow donation and Ganga Sanan bath is controlling senses and pleasing of God. That both happens here in Ekadasi fasting. Ekadasi is considered as a Mahabharata, greatest of all. As per Vedic calendar, every Varat fasting and ritual has specific deities. The head of Ekadasi Varat is Bhagwan Narayan himself. List of Varat and its head deity. Ekadasi Varat fasting, Bhagwan Narayan, Jaya Parvati Varat, Lord Shiva. Saturday fasting Hanumanji, Navratri Durga Devi, Lord Shiva blesses one who performs his fasting. Where does he get it from? From Narayana. The head of everyone is Lord Narayana. The head of Ekadeshi fast is again Lord Narayana. He does need to get it from someone else. He offers it from his own home. That's why it is called Mahavarata. If someone rich goes to a temple, he does not need to search his pocket for a coin to offer. He offers whatever he could grab from his pocket. For someone who is not so rich has to think of how much he could offer in the temple. Similarly, Lord Narayana is greatest of all, and there is no one greater than him. Ekadasi is his past. He himself has said that it is his past. That's why Ekadasi is the best of all fasts. There is no other fast that could offer blessings and benefits as much as Ekadasi fast. That's why Maharaj had instructed us perform, to perform Ekadasi in Siksha Putri, Ekadisa Nam Sarvasam Kartavam Vart Madrat, Siksha Putri. It is also mentioned in all the Puranas that Ekadasi is the best of all fast. Ways of following Ekadasi, three ways of following Ekadasi. One is Nirjala Ekadasi, to pass the whole day without eating or drinking anything. Two, Sajala Ekadasi, to pass the whole day on water and juice. 
थ्री फराली एकादशी टू कंज्यूम ओनली फ्रूट्स एंड मिल्क वट शुड वी ईट एंड वट शुड वी नॉट ईट ऑन द डे ऑफ एकादशी नॉट टू इन एनी थिंग इज बेस्ट इफ नॉट वन कैन ड्रिंक वाटर और फ्रूट जूस इफ नॉट वन कैन ईट फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स इफ नॉट वन कैन कुक एंड ईट वन और टू फलाहारी आइटम्स हीर आर द फूड रेसिप्स एंड वी कैन ईट ऑन एकादशी वन इज बादाम के लड्डू टू कस्टर्ड एप्पल जूस थ्री मैंगो खीर फोर फराली इडली फाइव मिक्स फ्रूट सिक्स फराली मोहन थाल सेवन आलू सांबा की रोटी एट दुधी का हलवा नाइन फराली बिस्कुट हाउ टू कंट्रोल द सेंसेस एंड डाइवर्ट टू गॉड वन डू नॉट सी बैड थिंग्स एंड सी गॉड और सेंट्स टू डू नॉट हीयर बैड थिंग्स इंस्टेड हीयर डिस्कोर्स इज ऑफ गॉड थ्री do not think bad instead try to think about god four do not smell bad instead smell things related to god five do not touch bad things instead touch things related to god six as per mentioned above devotee should try to control five senses and divert them to objects related to god benefits of ekadashi fasting it purifies one's mind body and soul fasting will clean the toxins out of body especially in the digestive system it destroys the 90% possibility of any kind of cancer the body will feel light and energy after fasting so at this stage i end this video thank you for watching this video namaskar my dear friends thank you